In this video, we're going to go over how to create some basic flourishes with Inkscape for use in Design Space or another program that will work with SVG files. I'm not going to go into anything in great detail in this video. I'm going to give you the basics and kind of the foundation that you need to create your own flourishes. Those can come from your imagination. And I would expect with the foundation of how to do this that you should be able to create your own designs that fit into your projects. We'll begin by selecting the Bezier tool on the left hand side on the toolbar. And normally it's set for the regular Bezier path. We're going to change that to the Create Spiro path. And we're going to change the shape to Triangle In, which means from the time I start the line to the time I end the line, it's going to be a base triangle and it's going to taper to a point where the line ends. To begin, we're going to click our left mouse button one time to start our line. But every line after that, we're going to click and drag with our mouse button while we hold the button down. And it will create nice curved lines. We drag them around into a spiral. And when you right click or press enter on your keyboard, it will end the line. And you see that because we chose a spiral path, it creates a nice wavy line. I'll create a couple more of these real quick. Now that we have our objects, I'll reposition them and resize them just a bit. And I'll position them so that they look like they originate from the same point. Now we can adjust the thickness of our lines by clicking one of the objects, go to the Path menu and Path Effect Editor, and then we'll adjust the width of this line to 2.5. And as you can see, it made it nice and thick. We can close the Path Effect Editor panel. And now we'll add a leaf to the end of this flourish. Select the object and then click on Path, Object to Path. And then we click our Node Editor. And now you'll see that we have a series of nodes along this path. And if we zoom in, plus and minus zooms in and out on your keyboard, by the way, You'll see that each point has a node on each side, and that holds true all the way down to the point. So we can grab these and drag them into the shape of a leaf. And we'll zoom back out. You could also draw separate shapes and create different leaf shapes, or resize and reposition them and rotate them, and place them along your paths to create a, a different leaf for every point so that they don't all look the same way if you'd like. Next we'll select all, we'll go to object and group, and then we'll click file and save as, and we'll save this as a plain SVG file. Next we'll go into design space and we'll click upload images, we'll choose vector upload, and we'll open the flourish that we just created, we'll save it, and insert it into our workspace. And you can also ungroup the objects and delete anything you may not need for your particular design. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.